make an addition to the agenda and do a 10 minute executive session uh, to discuss the property ac acquisition. Uh, can I get a motion and a second for that? Motion for a 10 minute executive session to discuss property sale. Second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Passes for no. Um, any citizen comments tonight? No. Okay. And um, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Um, we'll approve the minutes um, from the September 21st, 2023 meeting. And um, really all the activity was to uh, approve the deed on um, the 313 South Main property to David File. Discussion for that meeting. So, if I can get a motion to approve the minutes. Motion to approve minutes from September 21st meeting. Second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Uh, no old business. Uh, so, we'll go down to new business. Um, got a copy of a right of refu refusal agreement. Um, with Pile Construction, Inc. Um, for those that don't remember, we, we went into the same rider refusal on the 313 South Main property about, it was last summer, uh, basically giving him um, first right to that property for a year. Um, and then once the one year period goes, it automatically renews for 30 days, or I mean, until we give him notice of termination. Um, the plan uh, with this property, or this is um, the south netting property, um, would be right right to the south of where the Sheila's duplexes and Teresa's were induced duplexes, right to the south there, where there used to be an underground house that um, the land bank bought at tax sale like a year or two ago, and we had had it cleaned up. Um, yeah, that is right. It's a pretty decent sized lot, really. Um, um, so his plan is um, if he can get the 313 South Main, um, if that zoning is approved tonight, uh, then I think he'll move forward with construction on the fourplex down there, and then he'd. If he can get that one filled and get it um, going right, then he'd like to just go put another one, another fourplex on this South Nutting property if it all goes like he wants it to. I'll probably have to go through the same zoning R2. Yes. Yep. Yep. Have to get it. I'm guessing it's R1 right mm -hmm. now. They'll have to change it to a multifamily zoning. Those other duplexes. Yeah, would make sense. Would butt up against the other ones, so it might work. I don't know. I don't know. He acts like he's interested in building, and uh, so I guess we just need to decide if we want to go into this agreement again and kind of let him kind of hold it for a year until he can make a decision. I don't know if we'll have, with the location of that property, if we'll have just a bunch of people interested in going and building a house there or not. Let's say, where does that put our, because we've, we've pledged those four or five properties to be good. 31, 10, 4, 18, 35. We would not, Land Bank would not have any free properties. Yeah. If we, this is, the only this is our last now. one that's available. All the other ones are spoken for. Yeah. Back on the tax roll. Potentially. So several of them are um, tied up with the economic development on their housing program. And then the 313 is in progress. That, that one's already been deeded over. <coughs> That's what we did last meeting. And then this mm -hmm. one would have, it would be locked up.
So those properties, like you took, you just took those houses down. That goes back. You have to wait so long. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So those those actually stay with the landowner, but the tear down is assessed to their real estate taxes. So more than likely in those situations we found after <coughs> three years those go to tax sale and then you know the land bank will show up and try to potentially buy them at that point. Who, who ended up owning old Don? Uh, Glasscocks. Glasscox. It's his it's niece, his kids I think, or and it was his niece. We couldn't find his kids or his ex-wife or whoever. We just, I think they, the niece was the Did she one. accept her letter? Yes. Yeah, so she got a letter, a certified letter in the mail about the violation. <coughs> they never came to any meetings or mm -hmm. anything. So like those, you know, like the ones on First Street by Sheila Fishers, those are the same thing. The one by Anna Minnis, that's the same thing. If the teardowns assessed, so the land bank doesn't actually own those. But maybe, maybe at some point, if they go to the tax sale, we would buy them. But I mean, we haven't we haven't had any interest in this property since it was torn down. So I, I don't know that we will. Or Has he asked for this? Yes. 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 This is this is his request that. We go into this rider refusal agreement. And he did say that if the South Main property didn't go well or something to where it's not making him any profit, he will give the the land back to the land bank if he decided not to build. Um, he'll let us know probably by midsummer. He'll probably know if he's going to build on it or not. So he would he would go ahead and get out of this agreement yes. at that point. Yes. He doesn't think he's going to build. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> well, this doesn't, this doesn't say that we're going to give him the property either. It just gives right. him just the right. Give him the refuse. first right. So if somebody else is interested in it, <clears throat> and he's not willing to pay the, the price for the land or, or he's already decided he's not going to build a second property, then it shouldn't be an issue. He's not going to buy a piece of ground he's not going to do something with. So we need a motion for this? Yeah. I make a motion to accept this. Got a motion. Can we get a second? Second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Passes 4 and I Um, that is our only new business and we'll go down to um, a 10 minute executive session to discuss property acquisition. So if I can get a motion to go into executive session. Motion to go into a 10 minute executive session to discuss property sale. It was 650. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> to uh, approve the purchase of the discussed property at the discussed price. Got a motion and do I have a second? Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Passes for no. Uh, can I get a motion to adjourn the land bank meeting? Make a motion to adjourn land bank meeting November 1st at 6 30 p.m. I get a second. Second. Okay. Motion and a second. All in favor? Thanks for coming in, guys.
No, I mean, I'm just asking about that. If you change it to a duplex and not a Right. You wouldn't have to change the zoning. Right, you wouldn't have to change your zoning then. If he changes it to a duplex. So I just throw all the duckies on the ground and have the kids go find it. <laughs> Uh, 
from the Planning Commission for 313 South Main property. So as we discussed, um, the Planning Commission met um, on the 16th of October and they voted to um, in favor of approving the zoning change of 313 South Main. The vote was 3 to 2. Um, the zoning report right here with all the 17 questions, if you guys want to look through it, you can. But we got this done during the, the zoning. Well, I got it done a little bit before and the zoning commission just looked through it and make sure that that's um, okay. Um, the attached to the agenda is the ordinance to approve the zoning change. If there's a time to look at it, if not, Letter. There, yes, there is no protest letter. And then following up a little bit on that, I emailed everybody um, Section 11, 100 age of the city code. It's, it's got the 17 factors that are supposed to be considered in the zoning decision, and those are the same ones mm -hmm. that are on there. But if there's anything especially relevant to you guys' decision relating to that, um, it would be good to make a record of that. Someone downsizes then it opens the property too for mm -hmm. sure. Sounds like 
take his truck regular around other towns is pretty good. He built yeah. in Sterling, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, McPherson, McPherson and Sterling. I mean, outside of him starting work early, he stopped. Yeah. We told him to stop, and mm -hmm. I think it's. I think St. John needs it. Has probably needed it for ten years, yeah. or more. I guess I'd entertain a motion <coughs> to to approve the zoning commission's change on. 313 South Main um, from R1 to R2. I make a motion separate or the same. I'm sorry? Separate but the same. Can it be the same uh, motion? Yeah, I, I think the I'd do it is um, a motion to adopt ordinance number 1091-23 um, adopting the... Accepting the... Right? Yeah, accepting that change in zoning classification. I make a motion uh, to approve ordinance number 1091-23 accepting the Planning Commission's recommendation to change 313 South Main Street from R1 single family to R2 multiple family residential. Second. <clears throat> the motion by Aaron to Accept the ordinance number 1091-23 and seconded by Mark Bryant. All in favor? All opposed? Passes five and zero. If there's no other business, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn special council meeting November 1st, 2023. Second. Motion to adjourn. It's by Aaron, seconded by Sarah. All in favor? Opposed? Being adjourned.